Hello, welcome to White Threads Floss Tube number 85 or 84. Hmm, I think it's 85. Hello, welcome to White Threads Floss Tube number 85. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sorry it's been ages since I last did one of these. Um, I finished doing the massive mail out, well, it never really finished, um, of Frisian white work when it arrived, and then I got straight into preparing for the Sydney Craft and Quilt Fair, which was due to start tomorrow. I'm not in Sydney. I'm still at home because last week there was a lot of upheaval because Sydney has now gone into lockdown, which means it's a little bit difficult to run a craft show. So the craft show has been postponed until the 1st to the 5th of September. And quite frankly, I'm, I'm relieved. Um, I come from a very small country town where our health services are not great. And the prospect of me going and spending days with hundreds of people coming past me each day, and possibly any of them could have the virus and I could then bring it back to my family and friends and my community here in our small little town with very poor health services, did not thrill me at all. And I'm very pleased that that decision was taken out of my hands. I am committed to doing the show. I have paid for my stand in full. So I want to be there and I want to see all you guys who are able to come and I want to show people the projects from Frizzy and White Work. And I've got heaps of new pro and products to show. Um, what this means, the delay, is that hopefully things will have settled down by the time the show actually comes around. Um, but it will also mean it gives me time to have a break, which I've done in the last few days after not having really had a break for probably a month. Um, and it's been quite nice. But it will also give me time to prepare a few more um, new products for you for the show that I will launch at the show that will then be available to everyone else after the show. Now, I've already got quite a few new things. Apart from the book, there are all of the supplies packs. And I mean all now because Edinburgh Linen has arrived. It's back in stock. So I now have stock of 36 count Edinburgh Linen um, in white. So it's very exciting. So all of my supplies kits are now complete. So there's this one, which is the supplies pack for the square cushion. And you can see that it's got that in the back. Then we have the Freezing White Work Silk Sampler supplies pack. And all of the supplies are in the back for that. Oh, they're beautiful, beautiful threads. <laughs> beautiful. Then we've got the monogram cushion supplies pack. And that's one of the ones that we were waiting for the fabric for, and we now have it, so that's very exciting. Uh, the Freezy and White Work Runner Supplies Pack. All the supplies in the back there. Uh, this one is the Needle Case Supplies Pack. Now, I really was waiting for the fabric for this one. So it's now got the linen in it, along with all the other bits that you need to make it. Um, there is instructions there for making the covered buttons that um, I put onto my needle case. So there's the instructions there for that, as well as the things to do it with. Um, we have the strawberry supplies pack, which has got heaps of stuff in it. And you can see these little pillows here. They have got the polyester fiber fill in them for filling up the strawberries. Um, I was able to figure out that like, I didn't want to really use any more plastic than I needed to. So I found these cardboard CD covers, not CD covers, CD mailers, and I've squashed all of it into there, which keeps it in a nice contained way, but also it means that it's not plastic. So I'm really pleased about that. Well, of course, the polyester fiber fill itself is plastic, big polyester. Anyway, I've cut down on some of the plastic. Here we have the round pendant supplies pack and you've got all the things in there to make that with. Then we've got the long pendant supplies pack and it's got all the bits in there to make that with. The Freezy and White Work sampler supplies pack, my favourite, all of those beautiful threads and the lovely fabric, mm, lovely, lovely, lovely. And the Biscornu supplies pack, which has got all the bits in there all covered up by this big pillow of fiber fill. So there are lots of other exciting things in there, but you just can't see them. 
So one of the other things that I was going to be launching at the Sydney Craft and Quilt Fair, which has been postponed, are my new needle minders. Um, and I've decided that I don't want you to have to wait that long um, for them to be available. So I have put these up on my website already. So what we have is a little needle minder and this is the this is one of eight that I've got so far. This has got um, a Portuguese white work flower on it. Now on the back you can see there's the little magnet there. So the way it's put on, the way it's used, is that there's a magnet in the front bit, there's a magnet in the back, and you um, put that over your fabric, so one on either side, and it sits there. And then you can put your needle on it when you're finished with your needle and it stays there because of the magnets. And it means that when you come back to your stitching later on, there's your needle already minded for you there. This one here is the Friesian Bird Needle Minder. So it's one of the little birds from the white work sampler from the book. Uh, this one is a small piece oh well it's a little bit of the smoig band sampler in my book smoig pattern darning from norway and that's one of the silk um, bands on that then we also have this one which is from the framed leafy panel from sardinian knotted embroidery this is from the blackberry table runner uh, from Mount Melick Embroidery, inspired by nature. This one here is one of my little black work ornament or decoration patterns. Uh, so that's black work done in red. Uh, this one here is one of the wool bands from the Smoig band sampler from Smoig Pattern Darning from Norway. Now obviously all of these are just photographs. They're not the real thing, just pointing that out. Um, and then finally we have a one of the white work bands from the white work sampler from Friesian white work Dutch embroidery from Friesland. So that's all of the needle minders. They are already up on the website so you can go and order them there. They're the sort of thing that will make a really lovely gift for someone else or for yourself. Um, I do have a warning attached to them and that is that these magnets are very strong. They're neodymium magnets and if you use a pacemaker um, then I would recommend that perhaps you would use one of these with caution. I would talk to your cardiologist about whether one of these would be perhaps dangerous for you to use because it's a very strong magnet and we don't want it interfering with your pacemaker. So I would act with caution if you're thinking of perhaps using one of them and you have a pacemaker. Just check that out with your cardiologist first. They're very strong magnets and I wouldn't want there to be a problem for you. Um, so I also would like to show you how to use the, um, the needle minders so that you get an idea of how I use them. Okay, I've set myself up here with my hoop on a stand. So I just bring that up so you can see it. And I've got it set up there with, it's actually just the sample of stitching that I did for my Mount Melick class just recently. This is my teaching sampler that I was showing the students how to do all the stitches. It's an absolute mess. And that's all I come home from a class with and it's really boring, but you know, that's the way I teach. Um, just little samples everywhere. So if I was to use my needle minder with this, I've got the magnet from the back and I've got the front. And then I put the magnet at the back behind and the magnet at the front there like that. Then once I've finished my stitching, I can just place the needle on it like that and it stays there. And what that means is that when I come back to my stitching, I don't have to go searching for my needle, which I do all the time. Um, it's, it's there and it's already there and it's not going to be rusting in my fabric and the, the magnets are not going to be rusting on the fabric either. I mean, I wouldn't leave this here for any great length of time anyway, but you know, there's not going to be that problem. If we have a sudden downpour in my lounge room, my needle's not going to rust. We're not going to have a sudden downpour in my lounge room, thank you very much. Our roof is not going to do that. Um, so the other way that you can also use it is if you want to, you can pin it to yourself. So if I put it here like that, 
oops that back magnet's the wrong way around and it was repelling I can wear it like a little brooch and now this is attached to here but you can you know stick it onto yourself like that um, and so you can actually wear it as a brooch if you want to but you can still use it as your needle minder now the other way that I like to use my needle minder and I find this really useful when I'm doing counted thread embroidery is that well imagine these are my button covering instructions but we'll imagine that that's my pattern my chart that I'm working from I like to um, have it sitting there at the top like that with my working area here so that I can refer immediately to what I need to be stitching. So it just acts as basically a way of attaching it to the top of my hoop so that I can see my chart and the work that I'm doing all in one. So that's another way that I really like to use um, needle minders. I find them really useful for that, that sort of thing. So that's how you use a needle minder. That's what it's for. So if you've never seen one before, that's how you use them. It's really exciting to learn that Freezy and White Work, Dutch embroidery in Friesland, is now available in actually the Netherlands. I'm assuming it's available in the rest of Europe as well. But the Dutch ladies who for them, this is part of their cultural heritage. They have started to receive their books and the feedback that I am getting is really positive. So that's absolutely lovely. Um, so it should be available in Europe. If it's not already at, at your local shop, then ask them to get it in for you. Um, and it should be available in a few weeks time, I'm hoping, in the US and other parts of the world. So it's it's starting to come into shops, it's starting to arrive in people's letterboxes and that's really exciting. I'd really love to hear from you uh, when you receive your copy. I'd love to know what you think of it. I'd love to know uh, what you're going to get going on first, which project. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask. I'm just really excited that people are starting to receive this in other parts of the world now as well. So I think that's all I have to tell you today. Oh, I did want to just say I have updated the website also so that the Edinburgh Linen is now up there back in stock. So it's available to be ordered. That also means that the Hardanger supplies packs are back in stock because that was the fabric that's in them and all of the the Freezy and White Work supplies packs are in stock now too until you buy them all out and then I have to restock again um, but that's a really good problem to have now in the next while um, I will be still getting ready for the craft show though it's thankfully another month or so away now no a couple of months away which gives me much more time but in time I will show you the new things that I will be releasing at the craft show um, and then once they've been at the craft show then I'll put them up on the website for everyone else to be able to order as well so it's not that they're only going to be available at the craft show that's just where they're going to be launched um, I think that's all I have to say now if you're in lockdown I'm sorry I sympathize if you're not doing well I'm sorry I hope you improve quickly um, yeah it's a difficult time for many people and I hope you're doing okay thanks for joining me today bye